home-cooked restaurant classics. This Italian potato dumpling is a specialty of Friuli and a favorite in my family. I serve it with tomato sauce and the color just pops off the plate. Zucca. People love it at our restaurants, but you know what? It's a family favorite. And this is Miles, my grandson Miles, right? We love gnocchi, Miles. We love it, yeah. We love it, we love making it. Ever since you couldn't even reach the counter, you guys would line up around and we would make gnocchi. So let's reminisce a little bit and make some good gnocchis. For good gnocchis, you need some potatoes and the potatoes need to be uh, boiled or cooked thoroughly. And you know, you let them just chill a little bit and then you can peel them like that. And you, Miles, you're gonna squash them for me. Uh, let's see, you know how this goes. You guys used to fight who's gonna do this. So let's, let's do like this, let's put it in here. Put it right on here because that's where we're gonna uh, okay, good job. That's where you need those muscles. Okay, and this is a potato ricer, simple element to have. You got it, Miles. That's it. Let me get collect everything just out of here. Okay, so we we'll let we we'll let the potatoes cool while they're still warm. Though, uh, Miles, put some salt on it. And the next, of course. This is butternut squash. And um, just salt it a little bit with oil, roast this, and it's done. Uh, when it's cool, and let's scrape this off. Butternut squash is popular, you know, the restaurants at home. Do you like butternut squash? Yeah, I do. Good, good. It's good for you. It's very nutritional. So like this, and let's get it like this. So you let this, drain maybe a half an hour, an hour, or even more, uh, because you want this to be as dry as possible. So you let this drain, and you let it drain like this. Okay, why don't you wring a little bit? This is, this is fun. G give me your hand, give me your hand. This, take this, twist it. Take like this? Yeah, twist it and get the water out of there. Okay, oh, good. Well, these are gonna be light gnocchis. Look all the water he's getting out of there. <laughs> you see, I need, you need a little strength in the kitchen. Oh, they're still coming. Look, look how much water. Okay, so we're gonna put it in here and you're gonna do the same thing to this. All right. Good job. Now, squish. There you go. All right. Let, let me, let's, let's collect it all. Okay, so that's that. Uh, why don't you whisk for me the egg? So now that you broke it, uh, I'll put a little salt in there. Yeah, you got it. Go ahead, whisk it now. Faster, faster, get a nice whisk on it. So you can pour that all over my potatoes. Okay, and now you can grate a little bit of a nutmeg just all over here, just grate a little bit. Nutmeg, is, it has this great nutty, but a kind of complex flavor of spices. It's great in, in the gnocchi. Okay, I think we have enough. That's the cheese, I'm gonna need the cheese too. So you can put that all over, spread it out nicely. Now that's it, good job. All right, so we have all of the ingredients for cheese. Now we begin with the flour. I am going to knead, and then you're gonna take over. That's not hard, is it? <laughs> you you are now a sophomore. You love yep. it. Uh, I know uh, uh, a few a few months ago I came up. You know it was your birthday. You remember? And I called you and I wanted uh, to take you and some friends out. I wanted to take them out. You know, so I called Miles and I said, "Get a few of your friends and let's go out. I'll take you out to Mia." He said, "Oh, Grandma, that's exciting." So get a call of. About 10 minutes later, she says, Grandma, you know, my friends would really like you to cook for them. <laughs> and I says, well, how many are you? Eh, he said, 17, 18, 20. I says, that's a big number. And you know what we did, you remember that? So I went, I bought some prosciutto, some mortadella, some cotto, and in the papers that I brought it, I just spread it on the clean table now. And that's where we had the antipasto first, and then we had a feast. Tell me, what did your Definitely. friend say? My friends loved it. They loved yeah. it. Oh my God. Yeah. Especially the leftovers. 
The laptop. It, it was gone. It was gone within maybe two hours after you left. Do they want me back again? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I just might go. So let me see. Miles, give me your hands here. Get in front of the dough. Neat. Dough feels good, huh? Feels good, yeah. I like dough. I like dough on my hands. I always liked it. But okay, move over and I will shape it. Nice and gentle. And the dough is fine like this now. It doesn't have to be. It's incorporated. It's nice. And you know, you see, I want you to see the gnocchi dough. And it's to look almost like, you know, when you get a scoop of ice cream out of the ice cream, and it kind of is almost has a little bit of uh, ridges. That's yeah. what a gnocchi dough is. And we make. Go ahead, you make yours. And what do we have to make? A long cordon. Nice and easy. Let me get you some flour before you get stuck to the table. So. As you're rolling it, you push out. Hmm, doing a good job. Okay, so now we're gonna cut it. To cut it, to make things easier, you can make two rollers at the same time. You put it like this and you begin to cut. And these are the gnocchis. Go ahead, cut, okay. That's it, good job. And as you're cutting, you're pushing it away. You roll it around a little bit in the flour, like I did very lightly, very lightly. And we begin to shape it. And, you know, you can just put the fork a little bit in the, in the flour. And you take this gnocco and you hold the, this, like this, are you watching? And you just kind of roll it and you have the ridges. And you have, so you see you have the hole in there. And then you have the ridges on top. And they all serve a purpose. The hole captures the sauce. The ridges is kind of gives you that nice, oh, you're, you're an old pro at this. So here we are, look, look at this. We did a hole, this is for the whole family here. We had a lot of fun and you were great. Good job. Okay, so we'll clean up and then we'll cook and then we'll eat. Thinking about through my lifespan uh, on how meals were served and eaten. And certainly when I go back to Nona Rosa's table, there was lots of love, there was lots of good food, but there was a lot of physical work to put a Sunday meal on the table. Things have certainly progressed and uh, it's easier for us, for me, for all of us. Uh, but still, uh, in my mind, there's that reverence of, of a meal, of, you know, involving like a, uh, and the beginning, an antipasto, and then of course some pasta or soups in between, and then of course uh, the the main course of the of the of the meat and uh, lots of vegetables, and of course fruit desserts and nuts, and of course a, a good wine to go along. So that sequence to me always remains sac sacred. I think that we should all of us we should revisit that, and. Uh, the one encouraging element maybe is the up and coming generations are paying attention uh, to food and uh, are cooking it and maybe are sharing it. And I hope more and more of that happens. So Miles, it's time to cook the gnocchis and we're gonna eat, huh? So, you know, to cook gnocchi, and you listen, Miles. Okay? Yes, I'm listening. Uh, you need about a amount of water. It's fresh pasta, there's a lot of flour and the water needs to really be boiling. And you kind of just, pop them in, but you know, you wanna kind of shake off the flour. So what I'm doing here, I'm just kind of. Okay, so you see Miles, I got all the flour out. Once you have them all in, you gotta mix them right away. That's it, so they don't stick at the bottom of the pan. And now you kind of let them cook, put the cover on, uh, this way, bring the temperature back to boiling as soon as possible. So, Miles, why don't you fish out some marinara sauce and put it in here? And you know, I don't like pasta when it's smothered with sauce, right? You don't like it either. Just enough that everything is covered. I would say this is okay. Let me just check once more the pasta. A good boiling point again. They're coming up. So, you know, Miles, I get a lot of social media interaction. And they send me 
what they're cooking. So I really would want to share with you and see. Look at this. This is from Mindy, and this is at Mindia Viva. Mindia Viva? Yeah. Mindy, how are you doing? And these are, it look like papardelle with bolognese sauce. They look pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, it actually does look pretty good, yeah. Uh, Mindy, you got his approval. Thanks for sending. So let's see, Peggy, at lumis.p. And she has here risotto con verdure e gigante beans. That risotto looks pretty good, huh? And she baked something next to it. That's nice, huh? So isn't this interesting how they like to connect with me? <laughs> okay. Look at the gnocchi, if you can see that they're nice and soft. You can see Miles' indentation in there of his fingers. <laughs> Gnocchis, you know, uh, are smooth and they slide. And sometimes they become too slippery. So texture, the tactile sensation is very important with food. And uh, you like your pasta al dente? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And what happens when you get that mushy pasta? Usually it's not good. <laughs> it's disappointing, Yeah, huh? disappointing. <laughs> this is done. And you know what I'm going to have you do? I'm going to have you fish this right into the sauce. Drain them nicely. That's it, put it in there. Let's put them all in there. Go ahead. All right. Dive in all the way at the bottom. Make sure that you got every gnocco. I see, I see some more gnocchis in there. I think, I think you got them all. Okay, take the, the spoon and now mix it around a little bit. You want some sauce over all the gnocchis. Oh, you left the gnocco. So do you think you'd like a little bit more sauce? Uh, maybe just a little bit more. Just a little bit more, so you see? Okay. So, we have some more ingredients there. Cheese. I'm gonna shut the fire. And are you gonna put some cheese in here? Yes. How much do cheese do you like? More, 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 more. More, 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 more. I like cheese. You like cheese? Yes. So go for it. So, Vines, I'm going to kind of flip the gnocchis. Okay, let's see what you can do. <laughs> Get a good grip because, keep here, put, put your thumb here, that's it. So you have a shake, shake, shake. All right. So do you want to shred some basil in there or just shred it on top? On the plate. On the plate, okay. And put the basil that you want. Oh, nice. Decorate mine, too. Do you think? Oh, I get two. Thank you. All right. Oh, look how nice this looks. How about some more cheese? That looks pretty good. OK. We have our forks. And so, chin chin. Good. Simple, light, nice, tasty, nice texture. The sauce is just enough. Good job. <laughs>